Hello. Hello out there. <laughs> Hello out there in YouTube land. Hello. Come on in and join me and Sam. I see you, Papa Cat. I see you, Palm. My husband's going to come say hello. Well, honey, they're not really on here yet. All you right. want to wait? Give them about five minutes. Sure. Okay. Okay. And then come say hello. Okay, guys, I got some um, announcements to make. <laughs> And i um, so glad that you guys are joining me. We are in a different space. Let me know if we're too dark. There's one more light that I can turn on behind me. Um, I'm hoping I'm looking okay. Sam, she's sweet because she says, you look good. And then I'm like, got to trust my girl. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm always nervous, but Sam makes me relax. She's before we got on, we were singing the, um, what song was that? Um, not Popcorn Planet, but George the Giant Slater. Do, 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 do. I don't, I don't know the song. Anyway, it's, it, it gave us a warm up. <laughs> Kisses to all of you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for being a part of this live with me. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. Hello, puppy cat. I went and got my notes because hi from Great Britain. Oh, hello, kitty cat. Meow. Hello, Lizzie Ann. Lisa, beautiful name. Hello there, sweetheart. You're new. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, we got 10 people in here, 11. I think we could get started. Let's do the Mimi song, okay? You're welcome. I like your um, picture, by the way, too. It's so cute. Hello, Queenie. Hello, everyone from Oxfordshire. Sure. I know it's not sure. It's um, Oxfordshire. UK, Great Britain. Wow. Thank you, Queenie, for joining us. My Ziggy Lee. There you go, girl. Looking good. Hey, everyone. I just left Texas. Oh, you were here. Oh, my God. We could have met up for tea or something. <laughs> or, or a butt cake poppy cat hello again yay yep that's the kitty cat you gotta tell it the cat must name must be poppy maybe poppy cat love from liverpool last time i said liver liverpool i said something different but this is liverpool UK. Wow. I'm going to know everyone in UK. I'm going to come and visit and I'm going to be like, I know you. I know you. Oh, you're from Texas too. Wow. How awesome. I got some people that live over here by me. That is too cool. I moved to Texas in 94 mm -hmm. from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm going to get ready to sing our song, guys. Queenie, Paula M. shared one of your videos. It was amazing. Oh, my God. That is one of the announcements that I want to talk to you guys about. Um, and I'll, I'll repeat it later, too. So, Paula M. Sugarland, that's Houston. Okay. Now, that's where I wanted to. I wanted to move to Houston from where from Dallas. But it didn't work out. because. 
mamma wasn't going to let little bit leave her. That's why I know that with Megan and Harry, um, the way she's treating those kids and keeping them away from their family, it's it's really um, shameful and tormenting to the people that want to see the kids. But since she has them locked up in her dungeon, I believe that she's scared they're going to get more attention than her. We're going to get on that because I got pissed off last night, you know, one of them rant moments and um start writing stuff down like I didn't want to write too much down because if I do then um I'll forget what I really want to say <laughs> hello Pat Ray hi loves Mwah. one two three go here we go hi Susie Q we're gonna do the Mimi song one, two, three, it's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. One more time. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. Uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, yeah. It's all about me. <laughs> Woo, hello, Poppy Cat. I know. I just love, I love the name. I love the cat. I love everything. And I like the background. Okay. So Paula M has invited me. Actually, she, like, I've been emailing her back and forth. Paula M. She has about oh, almost 100,000 subscribers. And I hope that when we do this live, that we can push her over to 100,000 between my subscribers and whatever new. And I was, I know I posted something because I really need you guys' support to be on um, a live with me and her. It's supposed to go down on Friday. But unfortunately, little bit, li little bit, <laughs> Kira has a um, school event, okay? And it's um, called Field Day. I think I, I don't remember it when I was little, but me and my husband was reminiscing in trying to uh, remember field day. But anyway, it's the same time as our live. So I'm going to, I've been contacting her and asking her to reschedule it. But in the meantime, I got it posted everywhere, as you can see. I'm really excited. I'm nervous, but I do have some questions I want to ask her because um, because I know that she digs a little deeper, like she makes phone calls and she's all up in it. And so I just got a few questions for her. Um, also, too, I want to talk about Megan lying again. OK, the liar. And I knew this. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago about how she was going to come up with some idiotic excuse on to why she can't take those kids over there to the UK to see their family. And this is the perfect time to do it. You have um, your Invictus. You got on stage and lied and told us that you were getting milkshakes for them and then that they would be coming to the next one. This is the next one. Or was it the one when they were in the winter one? Because they just had one. And then this was right before King Charles had announced his... Um, cancer diagnosed and that Harry ran over there pretending like he was the the hero son and then ran back over here to do his to do and he did like a little interview it was it was stupid anyway um word on the street is is that Megan's not going because of security risk and she's scared someone's going to come in and take little bit and Archie first of all they got to recognize them to be able to take they can't see these kids we don't know I don't know what they look like at all I mean even the pictures from before I don't know what they look like no one knows what these kids look like they're never out in the public Every time they get in a car or a plane or somewhere to go, the kids are never with them. And it's weird because me and Kara is stuck like glue. 
Like wherever she go, the only reason she ain't right here because she's at school. <laughs> but it's it to me, and I want to ask Paula this about the kids, how how she just keeps the kids away from herself. The kids don't even go with her to the grocery store. You don't see the kids at all. So you never see them grow and change. So how are we going to know what they look like when we do see them, if we ever see them? Or is she going to show us the back of their head or the side of their face? That's that stupid stuff. But what's stupider is that Harry, would I bet you Harry would love for his um, two little bundles of joy to go to UK to see his heritage, to see where he lived, to see, to see a part of him. Megan is keeping the kids away from Harry's heritage, their heritage, where they come from. When she got on that plane, she wasn't turning around. When she took Harry from his comfort zone, that was it. Full, total control. I believe just a little bit that Harry may be scared of her. I think he's scared of Megan. Because what is keeping Harry from going to Invictus, getting little Archie, because he's old enough now to get on a plane and, and move around and do what he needs to do to get around with his father, Harry. But Megan is sitting in a corner talking about, Harry, the kids are not going to the UK because of the security issues. And then they're lying about where they're going to be was leaked. You're the leaker. No one cares where you're going to be when you get there. So no one cares if she's going to be in a hotel. I do <laughs> because it just lets me know that she's got kicked out the kingdom. They're not even under others anymore. They are not even on the website. But they created their own. And it looks so tacky. Oh, I got so much to say. Let me also say this. And I'm, my husband's going to come say hi too. That she um, launched that Riviera with nothing. There's nothing to show for it. Week two, week three, we still don't know what she's got going on. I did not know that if I was having a cooking business, that I'm going to launch my website before I get the food made, get everything in line. So when I do launch it, I'll be able to sell it. They'll be able to know what their products are. We don't know what the hell Megan got going on. She walking around in a ball dress in her home thinking that it's classy. Messing around with flowers like she's some flower person. No, she's proven to herself, us and me over and over again that she is a very um, spiteful, very spiteful person. And she's a liar. I think the latest thing to me that hurt her was her going online, talking about me, 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 me was bullied, knowing that she's the bully. She's trying to change the narrative. She's trying to change, oh, I'm being bullied. No, you're being talked about, which is normal. That's why we have these sites, because we can talk about the fakery. But no, she gets online, I will never get this out of my mind, telling us how we are supposed to act. That's why she's not going to be successful. That's why she's not going to go anywhere. That's why she's going to stay where she is. Because she, in her mind, she thinks these ideas are good. And then when she finishes them, they come out and they're, they're like, what is she doing what is she doing with Archie website looking like the Sussexes? And she left there. But now you're going to brand yourself as a royal on this website. It is almost cringeworthy and laughable. 
And I do want to ask Paula M, do she think that Megan will ever be successful? Because it's time. Like she hasn't been successful. So I can't say that she's been successful. Some people like to say, oh, that Netflix was great. And then um, Spotify was great. But neither one of them are holding on. As a matter of fact, Spotify is gone. And Netflix ain't talking about renewing anything. And Lemonado, I haven't heard anything about them yet, about her new podcast. She's going to be in the kitchen cooking. I wish I would, first of all, watch it and then take advice on how to cook from her. Someone that's never at home. She's not a, a homemaker. She's not this, oh, I take care of my kids and they're wonderful. No, it's a package deal. You have to take, when you take, when you have kids, you don't lock them up. You don't keep them from their family. God, I think that's why I couldn't go to Houston. I couldn't go to Houston because I would be leaving my family and Kara would not get to know her family as much as I would like for her to have. And they weren't having it. They were not having it. Callie, hello, Callie. Hi, everyone from Liverpool. I'm getting it. Hi, Leticia. Hi, Blair. Hi, Pamela. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hi, all 50 of you in here. Thank you. Sometimes I just start talking and rattling on, but I did notate that about Megan. I think that there's something, there's something wrong. I'm so happy all of the subscribers will get to see and meet you. Oh, thank you so much, Palm. That's, that be a great show. that will be a great show. I am so nervous and excited because Paula, she's just, you know, She's a veteran. She's been out there for a moment. Oh, the Duchess of Narcissus. Oh, hello. Hey, girl, congratulations. You'll do great. Oh, thank you. Can we all just say hello to the Duchess of Narcissus? She has a wonderful show, and I was watching it last night. And as a matter of fact, I took notes from her from her, from your show and you were talking about how Megan was coming up with these excuses about security and you were reminding her that where she was in Montecito is not the safest place in the world. So thank you for being here, Duchess of Narciss. Wow, I, I feel so privileged. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, help me, help me say hello to Duchess of Narcissus. <laughs> Get that right. And I like her new, her new, her new um theme is. Um, let me know if you want to come on. I can pop you on here if you would like to come on and say anything, Duchess of Nar Nar Narcissus. Hello, 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 everyone. Wow, what a treat. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I, I thought it was really interesting what Duchess of Narcissus had said on her video yesterday. You guys have got to go take a look at it. It was really good. Rivera Coba, big wave from, oh, thank you. Thank you for giving her a big wave. Um, you know, just coming out talking about how, you know, what they're going to do and then lying about what they're going to do and not doing it. Megan always lies about what she's going to do. Like she lied to the queen and told the queen, I was here for this. I was going to do all of this. I wrote letters to the queen and told her I was going to be this person for her and that person for her. And you were lying. You were lying. You were man manipulating the situation and trying to get her to like you and to trust you. And then when she do, you mistreat her in every way. You called her racist. You did some despicable things. And now all of a sudden she comes out with this Riviera and this um, stupid website that has nothing to offer us. But then 
talks about the very thing. She acts like she hates the royals, but uses uses everything about it. If you didn't know that anything was going on with Megan and you looked at that website, you would be like, wow, she's still in with the royals. They still allowing her to use the HRHs and the royal crest and everything. But the nerve of you to use something that you trashed and talked about. Hello, Lori. New to the channel. Do you think her followers will buy anything? No, I don't. I really don't. And according to um, most, she only has 500,000 followers. That's a joke. That is a joke. You are known across the world because of Harry, unfortunately. And now when you your first website that came out because you wanted your own, you and Harry, you had millions of followers. I was one. I believed in you, girl. Not no more. Hello, okay. Watching from Africa, Nigeria. We love you. Ooh, love you too. Mwah. Market Garden. I kind of hope Meghan Markle is moderately successful with her website. Then maybe she'll let go of H. Her website. Oh, the, the Riviera one. Yeah, that's true. If she becomes more powerful, I wouldn't say powerful. If she, which I doubt, she's not going to be able to do anything because she doesn't have the fan base and she doesn't have people that are just in love with her. She has more people that despises her because of who they have found out that she is. And that's the problem. I don't know why the PR team can't get it right. And the family element. Like you have, pre she pretty much kicked her family smooth out of her life and her kids' life, and then went on national TV to tell us why she did it, as if any of those excuses was good enough. And we were going to be like, "Oh, Megan, we're so sorry. Yeah, keep your kids away." No, it's evil. You can't go on TV. Or you can't go to a charity event and pretend that you some goddess and that you care about all these people. And then you treat your family like they don't even exist. You, you, you can't do both. Can't do both. We're going to sing that Mimi song one more time and I'm going to ask my husband to come say hi. One, two, three. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show. It's the Mimi show last time. It's the Mimi show. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't sing, I know, but that's our theme song until we can get it right. Oh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you, thank you so very much. Um, People are up. Look who come to say hello. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? <laughs> it looks like you got a crowd. I know. Duchess of Nar Narcissus is here. Narcissus is here, which is really cool. All my lovely subscribers, their support. It's awesome, honey. It's awesome. I'm so grateful. It's pretty exciting. It really is. And then the shout out you got from... Uh... From Paula. Right? Paula yeah. and Duchess of Narcissus also did yeah, too and yeah. brought my numbers up to a couple of thousands. That's great. Yeah, I was just telling them how, let me know what you think. I was just telling them how Megan had said that she was going to take the kids to the Invictus Games the next time. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be in the UK. Mm -hmm. But now she's saying that she's not going to do it because she's scared of her kids' safety and security. And she's not going. Mm. She was never going. Yeah. She was never going. When she got on that plane and left and took Harry with her, she was not going back. It would have to be something real drastic 
for her to come back. Like she was over there during the time that the queen passed away. Yeah. So quite naturally, okay, she's going to the funeral. But mm -mm. I yeah, just I like she was going. No, I don't think she was ever going to take the kids. We don't know what those kids look like. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm -mm. And then Dr. Zanarsis said that she is over their line because, you know, how the United States, we have a lot of gun problems. Oh, yeah. In Texas, you can just walk around with a gun like right there. Remember that guy came in the store? Yeah, it was and a Walgreens, the just a little pharmacy. And that dude was walking around with a holster and a gun. That was weird. I'd never seen that before. The baby was in the car. <laughs> yeah, and he didn't look. It didn't look safe. He didn't look like a brain house guy either. He didn't. He looked like he, he was, was a little one unsavory of those. looking. And yeah, I think it's intimidation tactics. You know, he's got the gun and you don't. And, you know, I got who one. knows? He go off on you. <laughs> okay, okay. I got one more question for okay, you. Okay. Do you think that Megan's new brand? you know, the nut nutty butter is going to be successful or could be successful or, you know, <laughs> do you think she can know. make millions from it? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. What's her subscribers up to? 500,000. Mm -hmm. And when it first came That's out. That's not a lot. Yeah. Millions. She had millions yeah. and millions and millions of subscribers. I mean, she'll and probably make some money on it. <laughs> it may not be as lucrative. Yeah. 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 It's not going to work. Yeah. That'd I think it's not going to work because of the Oprah show. She went on their line talking about they were racist. That to me ended her career in, in my book. And then the lies people, we don't like to be lied to. Yeah. And then um, just the con constant, the constant nasty things that she does to the royal family. I mean, she just, Named Catherine and Catherine and um, King Charles in a book about that they, they were the ones that said it. Mm -hmm. Still keeping it alive, but we supposed to love her. Mm. Yeah. No, she's evil. Well, I gotta head back. Okay, we can tell them bye. Well, it's good seeing you guys. Y'all have a great uh, time here with Letitia and. Uh, You'll probably see me again. <laughs> Letitia will. Like we did the car ride the other day. That was pretty cool. It We're in was. the traffic. I said 400, 400, 400 million yeah, Letitia. people coming to Texas to watch the Eclipse. thought the whole world Eclipse. was coming to Texas to watch the Eclipse. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoops. Oh, oh. oh, you lost your. Uh oh. Sorry, okay. I hit a button. But uh, all right, guys. Well, I'll holler at y'all later. Bye, honey. Mm -hmm. Okay. See y'all there. <laughs> Betty Rubble. Queenie Callie. Hello, guys. I'm back. I just wanted my husband to come say hi to everyone. Oh, 91 people in the chat. Woo. Welcome. Let me know if you guys want to talk, talk about anything. I don't have a video. Normally, I do. And we usually dissect it, but I think today we're just going to chat. Betty Rubble. <laughs> Racist royal family gave her millions in a 32 million wedding. Yes. Yes. But the kicker is, is that she knew after the wedding, she was going to start even being more of a menace to the royal family. So she could hurry up and get out of there. I believed after the baby, that was it. That sealed the deal for her, that she was really planning her exit. And of course, her exit was the only reason she married Harry and lied to everyone over there, talking about how she was going to be this big, you know, savior, was to come back, to come to California and be some famous royal over here, which is not happening. She thought that we would understand her, Americans. We don't understand you. You are far from, my mom said this. She said, you'll never be able to get, be able to understand a person like her. 
you would never be able to because you're not like that person. And that person has issues like it'll hurt trying to think why certain people do certain things. And the nerve of them to come out with it, with that statement about, oh, I hope you get well, Catherine, they called her Kate. But the point is, the Duchess of Narcissus, Megan and Harry are having a cooking show and a polo show on Netflix. <laughs> Duchess and Narcissus, Narciss they're going to end up on Saturday Night Live every week. They're going to end up on Saturday Night Live. They're going to be in there spoofing them. <laughs> I'm just going to hang next time, though. I'm laying in bed. Okay, sounds good. I know that's right. I take my daughter to school at noon, and I'm like, okay, today I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> She keeps me busy being this as old as I am with um, such a, a young child. It's, it's, it's a lot. And she's busy now. Like she's busy. She, she drew SpongeBob and she drew a um, home Patrick what black lipstick, my black lipstick on the mirror, I'll post it in my community and show you guys. Like, I got to clean it. Pub, do you think has a Meg, Meg Z turned up on May 4th in London or just has? Just has. Megan ain't going over there. And it's not because she's going to get booed or anything like that. I just think she doesn't want to be over there anymore. Scared she might get over there and get stuck. I don't think she ever wants to go back there. No, she's not. And she's going to make an excuse. Oh, the baby's party or oh, the baptism or um, the first day of school or something stupid. Or just like the Duchess of Narciss said. Narciss said. She come up with an excuse about security and about her being in danger. That's that excuse. BS crap. Ola. Just coming up with excuses to keep the babies out of. I believe that she doesn't want to, the kids to take her thunder. Like if the kids are there, then all we're going to be talking about is the kids. And Megan wants the limelight on her. But I don't think she's going back to London because she hates it and doesn't want to go back. But here's the kicker. She wants to have a PR team help her with trying to be popular in the UK. No, you need a team to help you be popular everywhere. The United States, have you not heard they put out those puff pieces. They put out those charity events. They put out those things that try to make her, WME, that try to make her seem like she's this goddess from heaven and she's, you know, the best thing that ever happened to the royals and Harry, which is a lie. It's the, there, she's the worst thing that happened. And the, the fakery, y'all, just because she put on a $5,000 dress and thinks she looking decent doesn't change your inside. Like South Park said, ain't, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing in there. Harry looked down up in there and said, there's no soul. That was my favorite part because it reminded me like, okay, she really is a psychopath. People that don't care. She got up and went to go visit them kids in Uvalde and her father had just had his second stroke. And she didn't even call after that. Even Let me say this. And during her wedding, after the wedding, I thought her and Harry were going to get on a jet and go see the father. They didn't even go visit and he was sick. And so she's about community and love and, and, and I, I love, you know, I'm a hugger and I'm about charity, but you treat your families. You got on the Oprah show, the docu-series, the spare book, Obi Scobie book and try to demolish them and take them down so that we can stop looking at them and start looking at how wonderful you are. 
but it backfired on you. I really do. I really do. It backfired. And she won't be able to be successful because she doesn't have a fan base. And in the United States, you have to have a talent and you got to have people that like you. Because if we don't like you, we won't buy you. We won't buy your stuff. We won't watch your stuff. And we'll talk about you. And since you put yourself in that situation, it is what it is. Because no one's bullying you. People are just telling the truth about you. Sometimes I talk directly to him. Oops. Called our nation racist. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. I can't pronounce his name, Sam. Yes, she did. When you call the when you call the queen racist, I think you're on mute. Sorry. Uh, what one? What one was it that? His name, the one you just popped up for me. Oh, I, th I think it was Arnold or something. I wanted to it, say like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, well, an an old an old geezer, an old geezer. It's an old geezer. Arnold. No. Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, an old geezer. Come on, think think British I talk. It's gone. It's so old. It's an, dead. An old man. Who's an old man? That's his name. An old geezer. He's an old geezer. Oh, that's what he put. Yeah. He didn't look like one on his video picture. Um, I don't even think that. Oh, right. There you go. That. Yeah. You don't look like an old geezer. <laughs> Pretty cat, pretty picture. Thank you, Sam. Hello, Julie. Hello, Market. Hello. Oh, Trevor. Oh, my God. All the YouTube stars are on my channel. This is, you guys are, woo. <laughs> hello, Trevor. Oh, my God. Everybody say hello to Trevor. Oh, thank you so much. I am so honored and so overjoyed that I have two great, great YouTubers that have really established channels. Um, I am like your biggest fans. So thank you so much for being here. I am so overwhelmed. <laughs> And of course, when I get off, I'm going to run in there to my husband. Guess what? The Duchess of Narcissus was on there and Trevor. Oh, God, you guys. Hi, Leticia. Love you from Uganda. Ooh, hello, Janet. Thank you. So what do you guys think? You think that she's going to come up with all these kind of excuses as to why she can't go uh, let King Charles see the kids? And wouldn't this be the best time to see him since he did announce that he wasn't feeling all that well and would probably love to see the kids? And Megan's going to come up with some cockamamie story. Story. I put it on a video and we sent letters and, and we did this and we did that. No, no, that ain't good enough. That ain't, they don't know. Archie doesn't know King Charles. Elizabeth doesn't know King Charles. They don't know their grand, they don't know their family. This, she's a really bad mom to keep family away from the kids. CCC, my neighbor has ducks and geese eggs that are big. So I'll ask her if I can have some uh, to throw at Meg, but we'll need to throw them hard because shells are hard. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can see people throwing tomatoes and an egg at her because they're frustrated. They're upset because she's never taken accountability. She's never decided, okay, well, maybe some of this is my fault and stop blaming the world for her failures. Oh, I had to leave the UK because the media and she came up with all these excuses. But as she was coming up with those excuses, it was you. It was your vision board. It was you, Megan, setting it up, 
um, basically conning conning your husband Harry, but his weakling. He's a very he's a weakling, and um, allowed him to treat his family like that because he allowed you to do it, and that's what makes him a traitor. And it's it's despicable, Harry. It really is. Someone said Harry is hiding. Well, he does he does have a few problems, you know, with uh, his charity in Africa that the people are being tormented and, you know, just shut it down, shut, shut it down or get off of it. If you're not going to do anything about it, Harry, but no, they like to pretend that everything is fine and goldy. Mm -hmm. I did see that rip in her uh, skirt on when she went to go visit the kids and pretend like she liked kids. Why did she take her kids to that? But the kicker was, is when she had that uh, Polaroid picture, taking pictures. Now, fan them. And I, I could just imagine I'm a mother. If I was a mother of one of them, I would, first of all, my kid wouldn't have went. I said, who's coming to visit Megan? Okay, they won't be there because some, some shenanigans is going to be going on. Taking pictures and fanning them, and then have signing it like she's some. It was weird. Nobody asked you for your autograph, so you just gonna give it to me. <laughs> like I said, okay, I guess I'm gonna put that picture right next to my bed. Oh, that's me and Megan. As soon as she left, I would have threw that in the garbage. Okay, next. Why didn't she give them any money? That's my thing. Nobody want to see you. Hi, France. Their delusions tell them they are on top of the world. I wonder, do she not see her Titanic, her downfall? Like it's over. Like I can. <laughs> and another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about the Sussex Squad and how boozy is the leader and some of you don't think so but i do and i heard it again from dan wooden that you know he is one of the leaders of the sussex squad but the interesting thing about it is that people are starting to find out that megan and harry has this squad that is trashing her family yep it was in several articles and megan kelly whether you like her or not, she came out and spoke about Boozy and said how how he's trolling and 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 being disrespectful and nasty to um the the family. Yes, Sam. Uh, I just need to speak to you because Trevor's asking you on to his show before you go on Paula's. That yes. seems to be what he's saying, but I ca I can't quite get the messages up quick enough. So. <gasps> Um, <laughs> I would love to come on your show, Trevor. Yes, I would love to. Thank you for the invite, by the way. Thank you for putting a star by that too, um, Sam. I'm excited. Like, I'm a little woo. <laughs> so thank you. I would love to come on your show. I would love to ask you a whole bunch of questions as well and um, talk about you. Oh my God, this is so awesome. And my live is an hour, so about 15 more minutes it ends, but I am so grateful for all of you guys for being on here and spending this hour with me. You could be doing anything else, but you're hanging out with me and I do appreciate your time because I know how valuable it is. Callie, if it would be fabulous to see Leticia on your show, Trevor. I'm going to be nervous, but I would love to come. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, now I can't stop smiling. <laughs> I, 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 he was wanting an answer. He was quite adamant. So. Oh, yes. So yes, for be. sure. For sure. <laughs> okay. Yes. I'll try and get back to work. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Trevor. Yes. Yes, I will. <laughs> thank you for inviting me. 
Palm, another great show to come. Oh, Lady L. Go. I know, right? <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> but I'm so excited. You know, like I said, Trevor and Duchess of Narcissus Nar Nar are, you know, they're like, you know, it's an honor. They're great. Their shows are great. Their platform is wonderful. And being a part of that is just all bubbly inside. Thank you, Trevor. Keep aiming high and you'll keep growing on here. Thank you. I like the fist pump. <laughs> Queenie, the way she keeps using the black card is pissing me off so bad. We do not need or want her here. First of all, she doesn't even know how to use it. Because if she had used it correctly, she would have known, and Oprah, she would have known that that whole conversation about um, the skin color and in tandem that they won't get titles and all that BS, all that BS stuff. It's like, really, it didn't make sense. And that's why I don't understand why Oprah didn't really question it. Because if you think about it, it's like they let you in and you were black. And you're, you and Carrie going to have kids. What makes you think it's going to be darker than you? And first of all, they let you in. So why wouldn't they let your kids in? No, she's making up stuff. She was making up stuff at night, up at night, lying on the royal family. And traitor Harry allowed her to do it. Okay, Megan, go ahead and say it. And then every time they have a conversation, the, the, the subject change, it changes. It changes from, um, I wasn't in the room and Harry heard it from them. It was several conversations, but it was only one. And then it wasn't even a conversation. It was a conversation about what the baby was gonna look like. Cause just like me and my husband, everybody want to know, is she gonna be black, white, dark, cream? What color is our little baby going to be? But not in a way that it was in a racist statement. And that's why Chris Rock got on there and said that everybody wanted to know what the baby was going to look like. So it really just debunked it. But since she kept it going and then had Obi Scoby mention two royals in the book during Christmas time. We'll bring that one back up, Sam. Okay, Trevor, I will write down your email. We're gonna, Sam, we're going to get his email, okay? Yeah, I think I think we can get it off his YouTube okay, channel. I can even go on his page. Yeah, I'm sure it will be there. If not, he can let us know, but we can pick it up there. Okay. Thank you, Trevor. Oh my God, that's Paula. Hi, Paula. I was just telling them. Oh my God. I hope I don't start crying. I got Paula, Duchess of Narciss, Sussex, and I got Trevor Colts. And I hope I'm saying that right. On my page today. This is so awesome. Paula, let me know. Or Trevor, if you guys want to pop in. I'll pop you guys in. Just let me know. Hello, Paula. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be on your page live with you. I have some questions for you. Saturday. Yes. I can do it Saturday, Paula. Wow. This was really exciting. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if I'm like just woo. <laughs> Like, I really do feel like I'm in the room with celebrities. I really consider Paula M., Trevor, and the Duchess of Nar Narcissus, you know, stars. I really do because they paid the way. They allowed, they, they are the ones that I said, oh, I have something to say. Perfect. Two o'clock is perfect. Oh, you guys get that? Two o'clock with Paula? Oh, my God. Oh my God, this is so cool. <laughs> I 
I know, right? I have, like, I was um, writing down so many questions for Paula, and I was like, I wanted to know more about her charity. I want to know more about her little puppy and just some other things about Megan. Oh, thank you, Juanita, my sister. She is, <laughs> she calls him the traitor. Hi, Judy. Oh, yes, don't forget to hit the like button if you haven't already. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Sam, can you see how overwhelmed I am? <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> very overwhelmed. I The love is just, it's awesome. It's awesome. But you know what? It's interesting because we all have something in common. And it's not what Megan says. She gets on TV and she makes up these stories. She made up stories on the Oprah show. She did it on her docu-series to the point where you didn't even see a love story. I didn't, I missed it because she was on there too busy blaming and, and getting upset with a family that actually invited her in to something golden. The royal family invited her into a whole new world and accepted her. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Tears are coming. Oh, my God. Thank you, Paula. Wow. Oh, my God. That is insane. <laughs> Thank you, Paula, for my super thanks from What's Up. Okay, thank you, 125. Back at you, girl, I got you. I got your charity. <laughs> I wanna talk about it too on our show. Thank you. Oh, God. Woo. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you so, so very much. I am just overwhelmed by the by the blessings. Thank you so much. Ah. Uh, what do you think of Harry at Better Up? He needs to get off. He needs to get off the off, off, off. I think he's they're paying him, correct? Paul and M, they give him money, and then the better up people are not getting what they need to get from being paid. I remember that piece of it. Can you, you want to come on and, and talk about that a little bit? Yeah. I Even the, even the African, the better up, the African, African, all his charities, they're not doing good. There must have been something that happened recently. But I remember he was getting paid so much and it was taken away from the charity itself. Good question. Rack and their therapists have been ripped off. Ooh. Well, remember when he did that therapy session? And that was that stupid stuff. <laughs> and you had to buy the book. Now the therapist is coming out and, you know, he's, you know, wish he hadn't have done it and all this other stuff. The reason why you wish you haven't done it is because you got markled and nobody wants to use your business anymore. And you pretty much got to go into retirement because you did that stupid. That wasn't a, a great idea for you. Tom, he said he is burnt out that he is just not from work. Hmm. Who, Harry? I heard that people were looking for Harry. Like, where is Harry? Harry. <laughs> you, <laughs> Trevor, come on. I've actually met the royal family. Wow. You have to do my show first. <laughs> Oh, you're so sweet. 
Yeah, I th when are you scheduled with Paula? Because there seems to be a battle. I don't know if Trevor's having a fight on his own by himself. But <laughs> um, it seems so to be a battle about who's going to have you on first. So, so me and Paula will be um, Saturday at two Central Time. Yes. So Trevor's trying to get you to and come in first. Okay, let me know what day, um, Trevor. <laughs> so cute. Thank you, guys. Okay, I'm going to send Paula the link really quick to the live. So give me one second, guys, okay? Here we go. Okay, I sent that to you. Trevor, let me know if you want to jump on. Go Bucks, Bots, Rays. Oh. Oh, the Rays. Yes, you and Trevor. It, it'll be... He's going to make me laugh. I know it. Because when I'm watching him, I'm laughing, especially when he does his rants. And Paula, I was watching Paula's um, show the other day. I really want to deep, uh, really, you know, get an understanding from Paula as it relates to the surrogate, the the moon bump, and the, um, the kids in general. Because I... I'm, I'm starting to believe it's a surrogate and it's too much, it's so much secretive around the kids. You know, we can't see them. She lies and says she's going to bring them out and then she doesn't. And then every time you see Harry and Megan, they're by themselves. You never see the kids with them. Like I said, Kara's hooked to my hip. <laughs> Hello, Ziggy Lee. Oh, hi, Paula. Let's put you on. Hello. Hi, beautiful. I look like crap. I'm sorry. It's just that my lupus is acting up. You look so beautiful. Your hair is growing. I've noticed that. You look so gorgeous. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you, Leticia. I'm so looking forward to having you. You know, I was watching yesterday your live with Juanita and your mom. I was laughing. <laughs> I love Juanita. I got to tell you, uh, she's my kind of gal. I mean, you yeah. too, but she's so funny. I mean, yeah, I, I, I actually really cracked up. Um, uh, I really actually cracked up when um, when she said, have me over again when she gets divorced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <That was> really <laughs> <funny. laughs> so how are you? I'm great. Thank you. I'm so excited about us getting together. I do have like these list of questions. I may ask you one before you go. And um, how is C City? City? Uh, she's asleep, but I can't okay. help her because she's, um, I think, you know, like I was talking to Pidina and I, I talk to Pidina pretty much on a daily basis. So she gets to see Calm City and then, and then at, in the, at night after five, she's like, the exorcist you need like holy water i feel like getting a bottle of holy water because even p dine is like oh i i mean she has so much energy i gotta tell you it's a lot of fun i love her so much she's just asleep oh. but how are you do you have any pets it, i do i have a puppy um um oh. shih tzu. and when you were talking about like the attitude changes at night it does like he wants more treats. He wants us to play. He wants us to do all kinds of things. So during the day, he's like just sleeping and doing his thing. And then at night, he's barking and saying, get in the kitchen and get me some treats. So, oh, my God. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, my God. Let these he's guys. spoiled. <laughs> what kind of dog is he? What kind of breed he's is he? He's a shih tzu. Oh, yeah. That's so cute. That, I mean, I've never had a small dog like City. You know, oh. uh, so yeah, I've had bearded collies or Labradors, but City's the first one that's really small. Oh. And I mean, oh yeah, it, it, she is like 10 dogs put together. 
So, yeah, I know it, it is something. It is something. Yeah. Me, I wanted to ask you something, Leticia. How how did you get involved with Harry and Meghan Markle? Because usually uh, the black community are very pro Meghan. I mean, in fact, Pidina gets so much backlash. You know, I don't know if you know who Pidina is. Pidina yes. is another. Oh, you do? Okay. Pidina is another. Well, she's another YouTuber for the people who don't know who Pidina is. She's another YouTuber. You know, and she's uh from the she's black. You know, and and she gets so much backlash. Don't you get any? No, I don't. It's really weird because the Sussex Squad doesn't come over here and and say anything to me. It's really weird. I do have some people that I converted over from the Sussex Squad, <laughs> but it's a good question because before I started my channel, I was watching you, and I was like, it because it was like a year ago, a year oh, or wow. so ago. Yeah, it was in the beginning. And I was like, wow, I want to say something so bad. And so you guys were like an inspiration. And so what made me like just click was when she went on the Oprah show and started saying oh. that the family was racist and talking about her family and talking about the royals. And I was like, that is not what we saw. We saw you get all this big, beautiful wedding. We saw them invite you in. We saw you be a senior royal. You went through the fast track. So what she was saying wasn't adding up on Oprah. And it really, I, that's when I started my channel. I said, I got- Really, you didn't believe her? You didn't believe her? Why didn't you believe her when she said that on Oprah? Because not very many people, I mean, my, excuse me, <coughs> people in the chat, not very many people knew what was happening in in with Megan overseas, so she had like a fresh audience because every she had sold her tale to people, and I mean people like Tyler Perry, you know. Yeah. With you know and him. your mom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, was, I don't know how you could do that live and not lose her. I would have been laughing my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fanita, I love her. I really love Fanita. I, I, I think she's a blast. I mean, I'm sure she's a blast when she comes home. She is. Video. She just says it like it is. She just, she don't sugarcoat it at all. I'm like, what did you say? I didn't hear so what, what didn't you believe about it? Let me, let me, let me well, test uh, Pidina to see if she's around. Okay. I mean, I mean, I don't know if she's around, but I'll, I'll, I'll there. But uh, why didn't you believe her? I didn't believe her because I didn't believe the family was racist. And then the, the 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 whole reason behind it, like the titles and in tandem. And then I found out she wasn't even in the room. I said, you didn't, she didn't conjure up something. It didn't make sense that the Royals would kick, like accept her, but wouldn't accept the kids. It just didn't make sense. If they accepted you for everything that you were, divorcee coming from, you know, the United States and all this stuff that you had going on, they accepted you. The queen accepted you. And then all of a sudden you're, you're trying to say that they didn't accept you. They wanted to push you out, but she didn't say that, but she was insinuating that when she was saying, you know, that they were racist and all this. And I think that triggered me. I think that's the biggest one for me. And I say to this day that the reason why she's not doing good and won't ever do good is because of that moment. There's other moments, but the main moment that ruined her was when she called them racist, because that was something big. You know, you don't just go around saying a, a ro the royal family is racist. You have no proof. You have it, it just it that did it for me. I said, she, now I realized that she married Harry, separated him from his family. And um, so she could get over here and be famous. Hmm. Did you know who she was prior to that? Oh, no, 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 no. Really? We didn't know who she was. Had no idea. Nobody did in the United States. No one knew her. You had to look her up and be like, oh, and even then <laughs> we didn't know her. So, really, no. because the way they sold it is like she was. Hello, Marta Cardiel. It's 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 how massive she was. You know how she was a nailist star and everything. What was the biggest lie that you thought she said on Oprah? That you were but, oh no, she didn't say that. I mean, the, the biggest lie was the racism, 
And then when she started talking about Samantha, <laughs> trying to say that her sister, she doesn't have a sister, but she is your sister. So that was stupid. And then when she, um, another lie about her father, the way she was treating her father was really bad. And I think the Catherine about the crying, I, I thought that was a lie about the bridesmaid dresses. I said, mm -mm, no, that doesn't make sense. They were trying to get her into the family, not kick her out. And so it was her doing to kick her own self out and then blame them for kicking her out, saying that they fed her to the wolves and the media did this and the media that did that. You're getting the media bad now. And, and even the even the suicidal, I didn't that was a lie. She lied about being suicidal. You think so too? Oh yeah. Yeah. Because, and she lies about it. She just went on um, that International Women's Day and said that she was being bullied after she had the babies. But you the one said that you were suicidal before you had the children. Why were you suicidal? No, you were suicidal because you were ready to go. I mean, no, I mean, not ready to go to heaven. I mean, she was ready to go back to California, to Montecito. Exactly. What was the biggest she lie never, on Netflix? She never lived in Cal, like she lived in California, but she didn't live. She didn't know Oprah. She didn't know any of those A-listers. She has no affiliation with them. She just wrote everything, wrote, got their numbers and invited them. They didn't know her. She didn't know Oprah. And um, I'm sorry, ask me that one question one more time. The one you Which just one? Asked. What was the biggest lie on Netflix that you thought? I, I mean, I can't oh, believe she was God, her. she was talking about colonialism. And then she had, um, when her mother was on there talking about it was pure racism. I'm like, you wasn't even there. What is you talking about? Gave no examples. I think the, the biggest thing that I saw was Megan blaming and I just felt like every situation was never her fault. It was always someone else's fault. But the biggest lie on the Netflix was the, the, the relationship. The whole how they were in love. I think that was the fakest part of it. Because she was trying to pretend that she was, oh, we're in, so in love. And then you switch over. She starts talking about the royal family. I'm like, I can't catch your love story because you're trashing the royal family. I said, so I kicked the kicked the a relationship out the door and knew then that it was nothing. That Harry is being controlled. He's in some type of cult-like situation. What do you make of her? With her, her new American Riviera orchard. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. It makes no sense. She's desperate. She's really, really desperate. And I think her putting out the website, the, the Riviera, was just to see if she would get a lot of um, followers. And she's not. She's not getting a lot of followers. 500, 600,000, 800,000. That's not going to, um, here in the United States, you have to have, you have to have talent and you have to have people that like you. And she has neither. She doesn't have a fan base. And if you don't have a fan base, no one's going to buy your stuff and nobody wants to deal with you. And you don't have enough talent for us to be like, oh, I'll watch you anyway. Hmm. Oprah is big in your community, though. What I mean, do you guys follow Oprah? Do, do you think that you guys? I'm just shocked that you haven't gotten any backlash because I don't know if you know. To me, to me, Yucky is another YouTuber. I do lives with. She's black from Nigeria. I think she's from Nigeria or something like that as well. And she got. She used to be a Megan stance, right? She used. She started her channel because she was oh. a Megan fan, and then after the Oprah interview, she was like, "Uh, uh this is not good." And, uh, and, but she's gotten a lot of hate after she became, after she started saying something is not right here, you know? So, I mean, was that in the beginning? Was it, I wonder, is that in the beginning? Because I think in the beginning, I was getting a little bit like, why do you care? You're, oh, yeah. you know, and I'm like, um, why do you care that I care? <laughs> kind of thing. But um, I didn't get that much. And if I did, I just ignored it. 
But more so now, people are seeing who she is and it's not working over here in the United States. For the comedians in South Park and Family Guy and all these people to, and calling her a loser and it's bad. It's really, she's been getting extremely bad publicity and then she tries to fix it with a charity event or, you know, Kevin Costner's event or something to make her seem like, oh, I'm really this great person. But it's too late. It is hmm. too late because when it first happened on the Oprah show, when the Oprah show first happened, people were, we were, we were, people were defending her and people wasn't. And I was one that wasn't. And you could feel the fighting. You could feel the back and forth. And it was being split then. But her popularity over here in the United States is, it's really bad. Really? But people say that she is so popular that she's huge in the black community. No. Because Pidina and I, Pidina, you know, Pidina and I always have that argument. She's she's absolutely guarantees that Megan is seen as a black woman. And I oh, said to no. her, she's not seen as a black woman. But no. she says she is. I mean, no. in the black community. I don't think so because um, we don't, she doesn't, can't relate to us. She doesn't relate to us. Even if she wanted to, she doesn't relate to kids. She doesn't relate to older people, younger people. She's just not relatable. And so I don't believe that she has this big following. If you don't know her, like, like we know her, then you could pass it off and say, oh, okay, yeah, she's okay. I like her. But if you know her, which most people do in the lies and stuff in that New York City car chase that was thing. funny that was that, funny when that went down she lost a lot of people too <laughs> have you been to new york Leticia? yes <laughs> oh my god me too i mean yeah i you literally i don't you literally take taxes i usually walk or take the, the the you know the subway because it's just you're not getting anywhere in that traffic i mean did you buy no. that no you have to it's so you can't drive number one we didn't even get a car we either walked or we got on um, the 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 train the 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 bus the train. They call it the L. The, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But isn't it funny? I mean, why do this is the thing I was talking. You know, I mean, you people as the black community, do you really feel Meghan Markle represents you as a black woman? No, she really? doesn't. I don't believe that she does because she doesn't have. She used buzzwords and different things like that to portray that she's one of us, but I don't really feel that. Like, th this is the first time that I, you know, you're saying this to me. It's kind of shocking that we would put her in that category. We don't see her as a black person. Really? Oh my goodness. I, we really have to do a live with Pidina because Pidina says that, the, I mean, Pidina no. still to this day gets so much hate. Because she's married to a white man, right? Uh -huh, so, so am I. And, um, and, and, and it's just like, uh, for some reason, she gets so many emails. She's called a traitor to the black community. Even in her own family, they defend Meghan Markle, you know. It's oh, like, yeah. <laughs> I have a few of those. And I'm like, wait, yeah, you, know, I say, you do not that. want to. I tell them, you do not want to go head to head with me on Meghan. I will cut her. <laughs> I mean, because it's, it's, I mean, it's it, her personality, her narcissist. I think she's a psychopath too, Thank because you. she doesn't oh, I totally feel. Agree with that. I totally agree with that. Yeah, I she has totally no feelings. Mm -hmm. No, but I totally agree with that. How cold do you have to be? You know, I was thinking about that because my dad passed away suddenly. He suddenly passed away. I was in Norway and I spoke to him uh, that night and he was driving from Calgary to Toronto no, to Ontario, the North Bay, uh, driving. And then he said, I'll call you when I get to, to my sister's house, right? And then the next thing I know, I get a call at three in the morning and they tell me that my best bud tells me that my dad passed, suddenly passed away. Oh. Yeah, my dad is, yeah, 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 it was shocking. I, I couldn't be, my dad was a weightlifter and stuff like that, you know, and, and he took a pill a day just to make sure that, you know, he didn't get clots because my dad was terrified oh. of dying. Yes. Yeah, at least he died quickly, you know, he died quickly. Yes. Oh, yes, because he was terrified of, of 
getting a long illness. So he, when he got there, he ate and then he went to send an email to my mom to tell him he'd gotten all right. And when he was writing the email, he got the massive heart attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, which is insane, you know, because he was so. It healthy. is. Yeah, he, yeah, he did not suffer. So that's yeah, good. But, you know, but I, I wouldn't be able, I, I would have arguments with my dad and stuff like that. But I don't understand how this woman who was praising her father was praising her father like crazy, even up to 2016, you know, when, and Father's Day and who owed everything to him. How can you turn on him like that? And that should be a cautionary tale for 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 Harry. Yeah, she cut. Yeah, he didn't even meet her. She he didn't meet her dad before they got married, which was a red flag to me. But um, what I see that she literally cut her father off to the point where he's no longer her father. I don't think that she sees him as her father. I think that she thinks that the celebrity people that she now hangs around with is her new family. Those are her kids' relatives, and those are the people that um, that she call family because it's not the royals, it's not her mom's side, it's not her dad's side. She kicked everyone to the curb. That to me tells Americans a lot in the black community. It is. And one of the, um, she has a channel too, Claudia, she calls her a savage, savage, because she like was no deal or no deal with her. And she just said, you know, the way she treats her family, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And so how do I supposed to believe that you care about anybody else if you don't even care about your family. So that's why it's hard for me to see that she's some nice, wonderful, oh, great. You know when I knew I was that she was not black at all? When I saw her dancing at that Beyonce concert, I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> those are not the moves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I know, I, 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 you did a video I on it. I angry at that. You said she didn't go to school for that. She didn't go to school. She looked like a very arrhythmic white chick trying to dance to yes, school. It was you know, so trying to get weird. some rhythm. That was painful, you know, to watch. I mean, like, oh my God. Yeah. It is horrible about that. What do you think is gonna happen now? I mean, with with them, with Harry and with this Invictus thing. I think eventually Invictus will go away or somebody else will take over it. Um, but I do believe that the, the, the downfall is, it's, it continues. Nothing good is happening for them. No matter what she does, no matter what she puts out to make it seem like she's successful, the successful is gone. She has no fan base. The Sussex squad is not big. If she only had 500 people sign up, half of them are probably Sussex. And the rest are media and who cares. But for the most part, I really don't see her being successful. She may make a hundred thousand here, a hundred thousand there, but the millionaire lifestyle that she's going for, it's she's gonna have to marry some a billionaire because she's not likable. But who's got you know, a billionaire can afford to get a better looking woman, a younger <laughs> looking woman, and a much sweeter woman. Exactly. She's getting old. Mm-hmm. Oh my God! What do you think of those kids? Do you think that there are any kids, or do you think that she's a, she had surrogates? What do you think? That's what I would I wanted to ask you because okay. I know I know that they are kids. I know that there's two kids, but I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused on. I really I'm starting to believe that there were surrogates because mm -hmm. of the secrecy. And them not being able to really show us the birth certificate or uh, for us to understand the whole birth around them. When you can clearly, like you were saying, with Charlotte and um, um, the other three royal kids, you can see their, um, they were on the easel. They came out, you saw the baby. It was so good. It was so cute. I was so pissed off when she didn't come down them steps and show the baby. I said, that's the best part. And that's, I didn't have a channel then, but I was like disappointed. That was my first time like actually being disappointed because I didn't get to see the baby come down the steps. But I've been seeing a lot of the bump 
being moved and twist and stuff, which is making me think that, wait a minute, is was she pregnant? I believe there's two kids. I don't know if they came from her. Oh, okay. Okay. So you want to ask me if I, what I think about that or yes. what? Well, you know, for me, um, cause you know, I'm, I'm friends with Megan Small, right? So Megan Small has a PhD in moon bumpology, moon bumpology. I don't know how you say it in English. And it's, um, and she, and she does all these videos about the bump. For me, it is the fact that number one, the easel is not there. You know, the signature, there's right. too many lies told around. I don't know if you know this, Leticia, but up until 1948, it was law that the Home Secretary uh, of the United Kingdom, which is like the, um, the, the Director of Minist Ministry of Foreign Affairs in the U.S., the Home Secretary had to be present along with two other uh, high, high um, employees, right? And they had to be present during the birth along with the doctors, and then they would certify that they witnessed the birth of the, of the of, you know, and that the baby came out of the woman's body because right now the Succession Act, as it stands, that it states that it has to come out of the woman's body and it has to be conceived naturally, which, uh, which is weird, you know? So, uh, so um, for that baby to be in the line of succession. So what it was, up until 1948, uh, King George VI, decided that his daughter Elizabeth, who now later became Queen Elizabeth II, uh, he felt that it was a little bit undignified to have, you know. All of that. Yeah, there. And he said, you know what? Um, so he asked for that law to be removed, abolished. But in exchange, it was like a gentleman's agreement because it wasn't made a law or anything that they would put the easel. They decided to put the easel out with the signatures of the doctors and all the details because everything has to be made public in order for people to understand that the child belongs in the line of succession and meets all the legal requirements. So if you look from that point on, everybody, everybody, and, and, and there you can see the signatures, they give you the announcement that the royal lady's on her way to give birth. She's, you know, blah, blah, blah. With Meghan Markle, everything was a mess. I mean, there's two stories. According to Finding Freedom, they say that Harry got on his Range Rover and drove Doria, Megan, and um, and one security guard to the hospital, um, and uh, that that just doesn't happen because the Royal Protection Officers they have a duty; they're obligated oh. to first notify their bosses in order for them to go ahead and secure the area where the where they're gonna give birth. They have to go clear the area, you know, and second, they have to notify the Queen, the monarch. It's mandatory. So for Harry to say that nobody knew except the medical staff and Doria and Megan, and that the palace was not notified, that is, he's basically implying that the bodyguards broke the law and they oh. didn't know. Yeah, because the bodyguard can just get in the car. We're going to go somewhere. They right. have to know where they're going. You know, they, they have to know. Exactly. Um, that was one, one that he said. The other one in his spare book, he goes and says that, uh, well, we know what he said. He said that they they got this nondescript advance and then they went ahead and and you know within two hours they were back after giving birth that Megan hump a ball. Then she took a bath somewhere with Sanskrit yeah. songs and then she was given an epidural that he inhaled all the laughing gas. I mean that's illegal. First of all, yeah, no that hospital will allow that him. Makes sense. I said that's in there. I didn't see any. <laughs> yeah, Amazon delivered makes it baby. That's what I said. You know, she was. She was, she was what was it that I said? I said. Uh, I was said. Uh, no, I said. Uh, no, I said. Um, Amazon. Um, um, what was it that I said? Amazon was conceived. Amazon was, um, uh, Archie was conceived in Amazon and delivered by FedEx. You know, that's what I said. <laughs> so, oh wow. Yes, yes, yes. And it's, and it's, uh, and then he said that he went Nando, he went to Nando's, right? And then he went to Nando's, he ordered Nando's. I lived in the United Kingdom for six years and he went to Nando's, right? Now, or that he ordered food from Nando's. Nando's closes at 10, at least when I used to live in the UK. So, and apparently they went there in like around three in the morning. So th there's no way that Nando's was up open and would deliver stuff, you know? So, and there's no way, there's absolutely no way on earth that any doctor would release a woman who had just given birth using an epidural within an hour. Oh, no. Mm -mm. You know, and, and that, that is just. Yeah, you're, you're, you're out of it. You can't. But for me, that's not even that. 
for me, is he's implying that in any of those two scenarios, that the bodyguards broke the law and they didn't do their jobs. Because what would have happened, for example, if they race to the hospital and there's hostile people there who threaten and stuff like that, they don't do the security you know, checkups that they need to do and something happens, then the bodyguard is responsible because he's breaking the law, the highest breach of security he's committing there. So there's no way that, that the palace, the only way that the palace would not be notified is if the bodyguards didn't know that the kid was being born or that there was no kid to be born. So you it know. sounds like that Megan and Harry put the body, the them in that situation. They put whatever story they have going, Megan and Harry, that they created, they put all those people in that situation, the bodyguard to to do No, something. the bodyguards wouldn't allow themselves to be put in that situation. Oh. I think that there's some, no, they would never. Are you kidding? The bodyguards would never disobey a direct order from the queen just because Megan said so. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, I just don't think that the stories that they're given is true. That's what so I what think. What do you think happened? Do you think that? I think that the baby that, was brought in by, by, Dor by Doria, who came two weeks earlier. But if you look at it, that's another thing. We, they never put the easel out and they told lies they about didn't. who the doctors were. No, and the, the most important part is that they put the e they never put the easel out. And then they said that Pen Dr. Penelope Law had given birth, was the one who delivered Archie. Dr. Penelope Law is married to this Earl, the seventh Earl of something, Brampton or something. Oh. And he posted a tweet and I was, I was actually tagged on that tweet. Me and Yankee Wally were tagged on that tweet. And he said that because he posted it and he said that, um, let me see if I have it here because I have to send it to Pedina. And actually the tweet said, um, uh, it said here, my wife did not deliver Archie, but the son never contacted us to check if she had. Typical shabby journalism, whereas the Daily Mail rang me the day before to check and I was able to tell them that she hadn't delivered Archie. Wow. Yeah. And then Megan says that an Oprah, do you remember an Oprah that she said she didn't she didn't call the, the station or she didn't call, tell the reporters because she didn't want them blocking the entrance to the emergency room at the Portland Hospital? Oh, no. The Portland Hospital does not have an emergency room. In fact, the oh. Portland Hospital is one of the worst hospitals to be in because they don't have a, an emergency thing. To, if any an emergency happens, what they do is they send an ambulance they send you to the nearest hospital with NHS that they can handle emergencies. Wow. So that this was a lot. Good. And you know what, Leticia, to this day, I just ordered my eighth, the eighth copy of the birth certificate for Lily in California because they gave me the eighth one for oh, free. Okay. Yeah, because every time I, uh, I don't know if you saw that show, every time I, 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 I ask for that, I get the details. And I get the email that says that they can't. Uh, they can't find the records with the child with a child with those details. Oh, oh, yeah. I, you know what I love about you? You will go and get that information, won't you? <laughs> well, I just want. I just don't. You know. You, you know that the monarchy. I'm Canadian, and the monarchy is that uh, the monarch of the United Kingdom is the head of state of Canada. Wow. Yeah, Canada is part yeah. of the of the kingdom of the United Kingdom. This is good. That's why we need to chat more. This is so good. Yeah, wow. sorry I need to jump in. I just need to ask you what's happening. And Leticia, are you going to pick up Kira? Trevor yes. is going to join. Otherwise, you, know, you are going to pick up your kid, yeah? Well, I have to go. I have to get going. But uh, but okay. uh, I'll see you on Saturday, sweetie, okay? Thank you so much. I uh, Thank you for the information. <laughs> bye -bye, and I'm going to play it back and listen to some more of what you said about the surrogate. <laughs> thanks this for having me, Leticia. And I'm going to tell my subscribers to come and see you. And thanks so very much for having me. Thanks thank for, for, for coming. You know, I'm glad that we're able to sort it out for Saturday. I was going to send you a link for, I don't know if you want to participate tomorrow at the Royal Mess. We do have a show oh. every Friday. But I know that you're busy with your daughter. And it's around... 2:30 my time, which is uh, 1:30 your time, so you won't you know, you won't have time to join us because you'll be busy. Okay. But um, but you know, for next Friday, I'll send you the link. Okay. Uh, but yes, but thanks for having me. Thanks for uh, for Thank answering. You, beautiful. This no, so it'll be fun to have you tomorrow. It'll be fun to have you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> send it anyway. I might be able to sneak on. Yeah, I'll send you the link. I'll send you the link. You know, we're going to have uh, Andrew Gold. We're going to have George the Giant Slayer, Anti-Lawyer. Oh, you know, wow. 
Yeah, the guy from I the giant Adams. Anti is amazing. I love Anti. So, um, yeah, and he has all this information and stuff. So it should be fun. You know, we okay. have Pitaina tomorrow too. Where oh, is that going to be a fun, a fun thing? So I'll send you the link, and you can pop in and out anytime. You can pop in okay. for five minutes or ten minutes, and you're okay there. Okay. okay. So Thank you so much for the invitation. Thank, Thank you for coming on. Thank you so much, sweetheart. <laughs> Bye bye, guys. I, I oh, Trevor, it's okay. Enjoy your night, both ladies and excellent YouTubers. Thank you so much, Trevor. I am. I can't wait to come on your show. Thank you all to my subscribers. Thank you for your support. Thank you all, two hundred and sixty people on here. I do have to run and go get my little bit from school. And kisses to you all. Mwah. Thank you.